Hello, this is Ms. Zabotnik with a Cuba Maze tutorial. The Cuba Maze is a really fun tool to use. It's a great way to make marble mazes. And in the box, you will notice that there are all sorts of fun and different pieces to use. I also have a box in there that is full of marbles and I would ask that the marbles get put back in the box when you're done and please only try to take out one or two marbles a piece so that you can keep track of what you're doing with the, the marble maze. As you begin building with the marble maze you're going to notice that there are a ton of really fun different pieces that you can build with and I would encourage you to work as a team to build a marble maze and to think about the things that you can do to make it strong so it won't fall over. Really important when you build the marble maze is not first to take out these fun pieces, but to get these marble catchers. Um, this is a new addition to the marble maze. And when you build with them, this will catch your marbles so they don't fall over. And to build a really sturdy base. So make sure that you're getting at least three legs to the marble maze started um, and that you build a strong base. As you're building the marble maze, you will notice that there are a few different kinds of pieces in the box. There are different pieces that you can build together. There's the one with the hole right through the top. There are pieces that have a chute coming off of the side, like so. Um, and then there are pieces that have um, a double, a double spot on them, um, like this purple piece right here. When you're building with the marble maze, um, it's really important to take care of our materials and make sure that they don't get broken. So I'm going to show you how you can connect these pieces to keep them so that they last for lots and lots of kids to play with. Um, one of the ways you can put them together is just to snap them together like this. So you would snap them together. If you're having to force the pieces, it's not going the right way. They should snap together pretty easily. Um, another thing you can do is this little um, chute off to the side will slide onto other pieces. So you'll see that it can make a um, something that it can slide down. Okay, so the marble will just slide down into there. Um, your, your job is to try to get the pieces to slide and make lots of different variables that the marble maze the marbles could fall down and make different opportunities. It will be a lot of fun. Um, see what you and your teammates can build. See how you can use the tubing and the funnels and all sorts of different pieces to work together to create something that will have lots of opportunities for our marble to um, work through. At the end of our Makerspace time today, I would ask that you take the materials apart and get them ready for our students in the next class. When you put the pieces away, um, please take them and don't throw them into the box. Could you take them and gently place them? These are plastic. There are breakable pieces on here and I would love for these things to last for years and years for kids to play with. So please take them and carefully put them into the box. Take the marbles and put them all back into my marble box and put the top onto the marble box so that it is ready for our next students. Have fun and enjoy.